by the way there was this little special on thursday of last week and the internet got this whole thing that there's going to be this big special announcement and of course everybody's like oh they're going to announce the partnership with tna or they're going to announce the Warner brother cable deal oh they're going to announce sasha banks coming back you know internet goes wild well mm -hmm. There wasn't a big announcement. The announcement was Becky Lynch and Shinsuke Nakamura has declared for the Royal Rumble. So oh, people yeah, sat through <laughs> so people sat through a whole hour for that. <laughs> so that was funny. But she says she's gonna win the rumble, be the first one to win it twice. If I could say a little spoiler, I don't think we're yet ready for a woman to win it twice. So I don't know if that's going to happen yet because they've only been doing the Royal Rumble for a couple of years. So I don't think they do a repeat winner yet. Who else would win? Well, you got Bianca Belair. She's won it. Nia Jax. She's won it. Jade, hasn't Nia Jax has not. Okay. Jade Cargill. Still the dark horse. Bailey. Yeah, I think it's too soon for Jade. That means her first singles yeah. match would most likely be a title match. That's stupid. You know, that was my early prediction. Am I still with that? We'll have to see. On the prediction show. Tune in. So Jay Cargill, who else did you say? Bianca Belair? Oh, no, you said Nia Jax. Yeah, the front runners will be Jade Cargill. Well, no, she hasn't even been announced to be in the Royal Rumble, so let's not put her. She would be the dark horse. Okay. Uh, front runners would be Nia Jax. You can say Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. I just don't think we would have a right. So let's, winner let's, already. Let's take those two out because uh, my question is who would be if not those two? So Bailey, Liv Morgan, who has a thing with Rue Ripley. Oh, God. No. I mean, I think Liv that's Morgan. about. I mean, as Why far Liv as your Morgan? Winners, that's it. Because she was taken out by Rhea Ripley. So, so? it's she's fucking Liv back. Morgan. I know. She's going to come back and finish the Rhea Ripley story. <sighs> Got to get it out the way. You know what? What if Bailey wins, but instead of challenging Rhea, she challenges Io? I actually had that same thought. I was trying not to give away my winner. <laughs> no. But gotcha. yes, the idea is Bailey, she's going to, uh, the way, one way I see it. So we got to go back to in the pandemic era. Sasha Banks and Bailey, they were tight, they were teasing that sasha banks was going to turn on bailey and then bailey turned on sasha banks it was like you idiots didn't think i saw that coming you didn't see how she was looking at my title and all this so that was the sort of bailey turned on sasha before sasha turned on bailey so that being in her history i was thinking maybe she does the same thing she sees how damage control is treating her so she wins the rumble they think she's going to pick rhea ripley she picks it you know, and it's like a Batista thing. Yeah, I kind of had that thought too. Because it makes no sense for her to challenge Rhea Ripley. Well, it is to have all the gold. I know, I get what they're saying, but in reality, if she wins Rhea Ripley's belt, then she's going to be on a different show altogether. I don't think she's thought that far ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think the people writing the stories have thought that far it's ahead. It's just, maybe that's how she gets kicked out. She just moves to... Moves to Raw. Moves to Quietly. Raw. Quietly. Yeah. <laughs> no conflict. She just moves to Raw. Okay. <laughs> well, there's, <laughs> I guess there's that. 